Bones are amazing things. They hold us up. They support us. They make us strong. But bones have other uses. In the past, bones were thrown by diviners, seeking out the mysteries of the future. Now the bones are cubes, made of plastic or resin, but they still reveal things to us as they fall from our fingers and rattle across the table. The story becomes clear. Welcome to Bone Thrower's Theater, an RPG actual play podcast. Hello and welcome back to Bone Thrower's Theater. This is Johnny playing Phil Raymond. I'm Mike I'm playing Frank Allen Cross. Jerry playing Nathan Alex Woodson. I'm Carlin playing Ari Glaston, aka Mr. Glass. And I am Stephanie playing Trixie Louise Canton. And I am Jordan, and I am GMing this particular game of Inspectors. It is based out of Seattle, with Seattle Spirits being the name of our franchise. We are located in our underground bunker underneath the SeaTac airport. We only pay rent to the highest of individuals. So, <laughs> Now, Carlin, you, you are pretty much sitting on the edge of the couch because you have something that you want to share with the group. Well, so as we remember, I was looking up the medical records for Jason Troy. So then um, Mr. Glass decided that he wanted to do some extra information uh, gathering on on Jason Troy, just being curious about what, what's going on. So do I need to make a roll for t- technology then? Tech roll or no? I'd go ahead and make a technology roll. I got six. A few sixes. Okay, so I take it some of us, who's still in the... In the meeting room. It's me and it's... Dang, you're Nathan. 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 It's me and Nathan. I think Phil is on phones, Phil is in the okay. phones. Okay. So I was, you know, typing, like, going, doing stuff. And Mr. Glass says, Nathan, Nathan, you're not going to believe this. You're, you're not going to believe this. Guess what I just found? I did a search on Jason Troy. There is no social security number associated with this person. So then I also took a look. I was able to get into the FBI database of fingerprints. And I did a search on what the, f- the fingerprints on the medical records link to. It links to a person by the name of Richard Navarro. I don't know what's going on here. I think Jason Troy is Richard Navarro. How is this possible? I'm trying to perpetuate his own legend. <sighs> the hole goes a little deeper. We need to get this information to everyone. All right, let's let's, let's meet up again. Time. So actually, I could probably just get on the comms yeah, and sure. relay the exact information so everyone knows. Let's move from there. I'm okay. Come back into the meeting room and drop the symbol from the comic book down on the table and say, see what you can find from that. Just try to burn one of them and that's what's left. It won't burn. Go ahead and make a academics roll. Four. Okay, so that's a fair result. All right. So you get to describe the mostly positive result of your action, but you also get to include a negative or humorous effect. At this point, who's in the room? Everybody. Everybody. Okay. Everybody. Um, I think that we should uh, also sample the, whatever made this symbol and see what can erase it. Mm. So it's a fire retardant. Everyone material. over here, with the exception of Nathan, it reacts positively to this, and Nathan is uh, quite offended that I would burn a piece of evidence. Uh, would-be evidence. Okay. Are you gonna get in his face or anything? No, not gonna get in his face. I'm just gonna be like, all right. I don't. I don't know how they do, used to do things back in your day, Gramps. But roll one stress, Gramps. <laughs> Gramps. Four. Ooh. Annoyed. Suffer a one die <laughs> <That's not> to <laughs> your next skill roll, no matter where or when you perform it. <laughs> just a little peeved. He continues. But nowadays, we try and get as much information before we go destroying evidence. There. Could have been other symbols or other things in there. We could have questioned Mr. Troy with that and got some more information before we go destroying it. I mean, aren't there more though? There are I more. Mean, what does matter? But what really? if it's a what if it's one piece to the puzzle? Roll one stress, Trixie, because you're actually Six. you're too cool for school. Yes, I am. <laughs> Hmm. That's why I dropped out. She's too high for school. <laughs> Woodson, I don't know how they do it in your day, but in my day, if it was malevolent, we got rid of it. You've heard the testimony from Mr. Glass that we're not supposed to destroy the comic books. Oh yeah, this is malevolent. It seemed in our best interest that we... Wait, what? 
<laughs> are you, sound effects. <laughs> are you privy to extra information, Trixie? You, you could say that. People say that. Care, yeah. to, care to share? Well, um... Well. <laughs> she apparently gets southern when she's high. <laughs> anyway, continue. <laughs> So Trixie's eyes are super dilated right now, and she's mm. drinking lots and glassy. I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> and she's fidgety, um, and she's holding one of the comic books and keeps kind of shaking it a little bit. So um, I took a smoke break, and I took a look. Confessional. <laughs> <laughs> Always have something to say about my in-character drug use. <laughs> right as I took a smoke break, here's where the confessional is. All right, this Trixie, I mean, she's she's smart, but at the same time, why would she take a smoke break? Everybody knows that it's not just a smoke break. And then she comes back in and acts like she knows everything all the time. I think she's just a know-it-all and she wants to impress Gramps. Know-it-all. <laughs> Write it on your, <laughs> on your character. <laughs> Drug addict know-it-all. Interesting. Total... Oh, and it read fits there, with Mr. my psychologist. interview, too. It fits with my interview. What's that? Totally poor read on that one, Mr. Psychologist. What do you mean? No, I'm the psychologist. No, I, I, I we do. both are. Oh, okay. I made sense. How's that a poor read? Psychologist. Because you're not diagnosing the drug problem. You're saying that she's acting like a know-it-all. <laughs> That's the root of the problem, the drug. Oh. <laughs> anyway. It's a symptom. Anyway. I think he's <laughs> still trying to deny the paranormal. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, continue. <laughs> so anyway, and then I was looking through this thing, and all of a sudden I got a vision. And I am telling you guys, it's that mirror. That thing is a trap. These ghosts or whatever that are drawing people to this place, they're not the problem. Something is trapping them in that mirror. And there, it's not the ghosts that are causing the problems. I bet you, dimes to dollars, that it is that, that Troy guy. It's got to be. I bet you. Based well, on what I'm saying, found. there's more than one ghost. I thought it was just the one ghost. No, there's more. Going. It's just that one guy who's super powerful because he was the first. Right. But there's there's way more, and how there's you, this little you know? boy in there. I don't like. Here's the most important roll, question. Roll two stress. <laughs> two stress. Two stress. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what happens. Six and five is your lowest. Oh, five. Okay. Blase. No effects. You just don't care. Buddy, stop talking. That fits right <laughs> after my confessional, after being annoyed with her. I was just like, I don't care what you say anymore. <laughs> so back in scene, Mr. Glass. So the real important question of the moment is, we were talking about bringing this guy here, try, trying to find a way to bring him here. Is that still the best idea, mm -hmm. knowing what we know now? No. I'm not sure. I'd still no, like to separate oh. him from the hotel, though. I want to see if it's connected to him. Or if it's connected to the location. I'm not now we can ascertain here. whether or not it's a multiple personal personality thing or if it's something else. Uh -huh. If it's something else, you're right. We don't need to bring it to home. I know yeah. you used to, but do we still have a uh, an office upstairs that's not directly associated with this one? I we can, can make use a phone call and find out. Go ahead and make a make a contacts roll to see if you have that offer. Or actually, no. We're going to have we're going to have Phil make that roll because Phil had that idea. Make a call, find out. Five. Alright, so yes, the airport has a, uh, a meeting room that we use for interrogations on occasion. And I would imagine if we don't call him soon, he's going to be calling us. I left one of our cards with the bartender. They might put two and two together, too, on that. So we might be in a little bit of danger with this. If Jason Troy is, in fact, a problem. All of, all of a sudden, the phone rings. Uh... Seattle Spirits, this is Trixie. Hello, ma'am. I believe we talked on the phone earlier. This is Jason Troy of the Canterbury. Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Troy, how are you? I would like to speak to your manager, please. Right. Um, it, may I ask what it's regarding? No. All right, sir, can you hold on one moment, please? <coughs> Gramps roll hey, one Gramps. stress. <laughs> Three. Stressed. Lose a die from appropriate skill. But I'm also annoyed. So, so, yeah, so the annoyed... Down. Boom! Annoyed carries over. Oh, gosh. Uh, hey, uh, Gramps? So I'm going to pick up the line. It, it's him. This is Frank Cross. Mr. Cross? Mr. Troy. I received your card today. You did. It's an amazing thing. How many mysterious things happen at my hotel, and then I receive a card from the agency that's supposed to be investigating. Well, Mr. Troy, part of our investigations here is to make sure that we're not being... 
uh, bunked or anyone's pulling something over on us, we want to make sure that you receive the most professional services. And in order to do that, we kind of have to screen you, sometimes without your knowledge. We felt that it was best in this situation to go ahead and make a move on your location and do some pre-investigative work. Now, in our investigating, we did find some interesting things of note. Mm -hmm. and we would like to bring you in uh, to a new Well, I don't location. believe that's going to be yes, happening, yes. sir. Okay. Just out of character, okay. stepping back. Um, I think that the one that you minus, the, the skill that you should minus, probably would be your contacts. Okay. Uh, because that would be an So you probably lose one. Yeah, so in the second box, just go ahead and subtract one. Okay, yeah, that's okay. what I was going to ask. Now, back in character. I'm afraid that I don't think we are going to be able to use your agency for this investigation. I think I'm going to have to be taking my uh, particular needs to the Tacoma office. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, that's really regrettable. In fact, if I ever see any of you or your employees on my property again, then expect to hear from the Canterbury's lawyers. Hmm. Do you understand? I do. I would like to offer you a um, discount, though. Maybe we could still obtain your business if you get. I'm sorry, sir. I hope you have a good day. Are. All right. I hang up and I look up and say, "We need to take care of this." You had a question, Stephanie. Oh, I was just wondering if it was on speakerphone. No, it was... Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to relay to the rest of the members of the staff the conversation that he was rather displeased and disgruntled and perhaps a little um, nervous. Well, of course he is. He's trapping those poor ghosts. We have to help them. Let's rush this bomb. <laughs> we don't go in unprepared. That's how you lose good agents. Well, we've got our 10%. Brr. We're not getting paid for this. This guy's... Obviously a mental case. Mr. Glass found that out. Well, but let me point out that it said that there was no indication that he had not been taking his medication. And what's Does medication here? always work, fellow psychiatrist? Well, obviously it's not an exact science, but there's there a lot go. to contribute to it. A couple of things we might be able to do. We could approach Troy about why his social comes up as somebody else. We could approach Trixie. You said you saw multiple people getting sucked into this mirror? Yeah, there was this one lady who had to have been from, like, the 80s because that hair. We could maybe contact some of the relatives of those that have been deceased and have them hire us in. I well, like but they to weren't necessarily deceased from that bar. There was no articles about anybody else dying. Hmm. While they're... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to... While they're talking about I want to pull up a... Do a Google search for any information about people dying around the hotel. Okay, go ahead and roll a uh, technology roll. I want to look up um, pentagrams as used in rituals in the encyclopedia. Five. Okay. Man, so, like, you guys are... Yeah, we're flying through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just roll well when Jeff's not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jeff, if you're listening. <laughs> okay. Um... You're making a roll to see about that. Um, uh, the in, like through the encyclopedias, just to look up like the use of pentagrams and rituals, and <laughs> especially like the uh, area of effect. Okay. Is that volume? That there? would be um, <laughs> academics. Yeah. Okay. Is volume V available? Is, is P. P available? Or P, P available. available? Yes. P was available. Four. So that would be a fair. Mm. Mm -hmm. Poltergeist. So, um, for a fair, you go ahead and get to um, just mention what's going on. Um, you get to describe your mostly positive result. Okay. But you also must include a negative humorous effect. Okay. So, the mostly positive result is that I am able to determine that pentagrams are frequently used in, in uh, summoning rituals. Let's see. Uh, the negative effect... Oh, and the summoning rituals can often be as large as one mile. It depends on the, um, the amount of summoning material, trend, blah, 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 technical, technical, mumbo jumbo. Um, <laughs> but, um, so in other words, I'm able to find something roughly describing uh, the size of the area of effect that it would happen for... Um, if it, if it was an area of effect kind of spell or ritual okay. or whatever. Um, the negative is that typically 
these pentagrams need to be retraced with every use. It, it's kind of a one-time thing, a one-shot thing. So you need to retrace it every time. So this, this pentagram, with the fact that it's not being able to be removed from the floor, seems to be something that's very interesting. Well, when she says that, I'd say... Well, the interesting thing, thing is, didn't Troy say that he couldn't, that it wouldn't come up? It, co it wouldn't come off the ground? So, in fact, if it always needs to be redone, is he, is he doing it every day and just saying that it won't come up? Mm. Makes sense. I, I, I well, he's doing it without even knowing he's doing it. What the, about the the symbol here in the burnt book? It's made of the same material, according to Mr. Glass. Has anybody looked up that symbol? Not yet. Pick it up and hand it to Trixie. <laughs> See what you can do with that. Yeah, you. I you, hand it over. You to had, you had the idea. Okay. Yeah. Am I doing academics or technology? Academics. academics? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Five. So, when you described it, you said it was a Gaelic or a Nordic symbol? Yes. Okay. We're going to say I can do a quick, like, uh, Google image search. I look up several different symbols and whatnot. And the one I find is... Oh, gosh. I wish I had more on Nordic mythology. Is there a Nordic underworld? Yeah. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's spelled H-E-L. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, is there a deity of this hell place? Yes, one of Loki's daughter. Um, one second. Smokey. She has a deep voice. <laughs> Smokey. <laughs> um, if I re her name is also Hell. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, right. This is my house. Um, this is is hell. the symbol I hell you? of the house of Hell in Nordic uh, runes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so. Hell-related stuff in the comic books. Uh, pentagram, which is definitely related to hell and demons in the basement. Not good, right? Am I right on this, guys? Sounds I like definitely agree with that. Sounds like we might be doing a freebie, unfortunately. <sighs> Woodson, what's your take? Freebie for a guy that's just a nut, nutcase. Yeah. Well, you know what? That nutcase seems like a pretty dangerous nutcase, and if he gets out on the street, maybe more than ghosts will be suffering. No, but most importantly, he knows who we are. So if he's a danger, he already knows who we are. We're in danger, then. Mm -hmm. I'm not willing. You did leave the our card on the bar where I was standing, talking to the bartender. <laughs> was the card your card? A uh, generic office card. Generic office card. Everybody roll to stress. Two stress. Oh, and you picked the lowest. Yes. Three. Two. Oh, two. Uh, it. Frazzled. Two stress. Straw by two. Oh. Four. Oh, Six. Two. Yeah. Two. One. No, you rolled a one. Oh, I rolled it's a the, one. Oh, the lower, it's the lowest. lowest one. Well, I can cancel that out, right? Because I have one cool. Why do you have a cool? Because I rolled a, a six earlier. On stress? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then you can cancel that out. I get to cancel out the one for mine. Yes. Because I have one cool. But uh, four. So four is what I get on stress. Okay. So that's annoyed. Okay. What did you get on stress? I uh, canceled it out. Okay. No, but what was your next highest? Six. Okay. I got frazzled. Two. Okay. Two, two, two. Two. Okay. So this happens for all of you. As you're st sitting in the office talking about what's going on, all of a sudden you start feeling on half of your body, one half of your body feels frigid cold, like below zero temperatures. The other half of your body on the left side going on down the dorsal meridian, the left, si the left side of your body feels like it is on fire. And you, you start, you literally, literally you can play, like you can switch your hands and your right hand on your left side of your face will feel, it will actually start sizzling with the heat. Well, I do that because I was already sweating from... Right. You're fine because the drugs are in your system and you're messed up already. Sweet. What's Bake. wrong? You're, you're cool yes. because you're, what? um, you're a werewolf. Yep. But, but no one knows that. But nobody knows that. The rest of so you... You and I are sitting there looking at the computer screen just oblivious. Mr. Glass and Blast. 
<laughs> Wait, what? The only ones that unaffected are Mr. Glass and Glassed. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you can hear this deep, maniacal laughing in your head. <laughs> it's Mr. Claw from... <laughs> it's Claw from Gadget. <laughs> oh, excuse me. No. You left your calling card. How convenient of you. What? Confessional? Always knew this day would come. <laughs> <laughs> so he thinks this is the day he dies. <laughs> he thinks he's getting called by Satan. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're just sitting here looking at the leaves yeah. up here. Yeah. I'm going to sit there, straighten my tie. <laughs> um, Confessional. <laughs> one person. One person. One person. Uh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh. <laughs> um, Nathan is going to frantically reach into his jacket pocket, pull out the thing of pills. And I look over. And it. just kind of take one. What was that you were saying about medication not always working? I was just wondering if you had like a vested interest, and I'm trying to heckle him. If you must know, responding. This is for a heart condition. Read the label. It says heart condition right on it. What's the symbol doing at this point? The symbol is actually going to have to be answered by a roll. Mm -hmm. And you're frazzled, so how many dice does that remove? Um, two. Two. Uh, it, two it, two. Frazzled is lose two dice from an appropriate skill. Mm -hmm. Or one, one die from two skills. Yeah. So, so it permanently do we get to choose? Yeah. But we can't go below one? Yeah. So we, if it's one already, we can't use it on that one. Right. So I'll take one from academics and one from athletics for the, all the feeling of... Okay. You said it's an academics roll. Four. So you get to describe your mostly positive results. What do you see the room doing? Uh, it is glowing. Uh, and it looks like almost like there's a filament of some sort to my untrained eye. It looks like there's this filament in the paper that is that is glowing, maybe that there was uh, some manufacturing process that included something extra in the comic book or something was painted on and absorbed, or I'm not really sure what I'm seeing, but I know it's glowing and it looks like it's something separate of the paper. You start smelling charred wood underneath the, t underneath the paper. Is there a fire extinguisher in the room? Roll technology. Six. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Describe your result, your actions. There is a fire extinguisher and a fire a fire slash sprinkler alarm. So I'm going to pull that and grab the fire extinguisher. That creates a problem for you because do you really want to be found in a underground secret sea tower? Pull the alarm. I pull the alarm for the whole building. Yeah, mm, not necessarily. Fire department's going to swarm. That's what the yeah. alarm is for. They're, you're going, they're going to have to evacuate the airport. And it's the evacuate? They're not going to find the bunker. Yeah, they won't be able to get in. Yeah. Who's going to look in a breaker? Why, why do we have a system that's tied in with the rest of the building? Maybe we maybe it used not to be, but now we can't afford to keep it. Tied <laughs> <in>. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you pull it... Yeah, I'm pulling it. As soon as he pulls it, I was like, all right, tunnel <laughs> I'm All like, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> As you guys are fleeing the uh, the the um, fire alarm building, and you, are you spraying down the table real quick? Yeah, I'm gonna just hit it. Okay, it doesn't seem to have much of an effect, mm -hmm. and you actually see flames, green flames from the table. From the table. And this is something everyone can see. Yes. I grabbed the comic book that I was looking That's at just, earlier. That's what I was just about to do. Grab the comic book. I close the um, I'm laptop still high though, so put it know. under my clothes so it's not getting wet. And anybody want to make a technology roll to see if you've got you you have a gun on your belt? Well, we what had them mean, all out earlier, oh, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. The thing is that you might have it, but it might not be available. Mm. I think I can. We do would have it. had it on us. When we were in the field. Yeah. You're not okay. in the field right yeah. now. Okay. Right. I'll go ahead and roll. I have a minus one for this because I was annoyed. Um, Five. Four. Uh, are we all rolling this? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah, if you want. Well, Four. Personally, I don't care about my gun. I want to go get grab the, e uh, the uh, ecoplasma trap off the wall on the way out. Okay. Roll, t roll technology. Can I still have the... the 
the the EMF reader like in my pocket because it was a little yeah. Roll crazy. technology for that. See, okay, you still have it. Five. Okay, you still have it. Three. Uh, three. Not great. GM decides your fate. You may be given a chance to suggest a single positive. Okay. Um. You can have a gun. Or no, what was it you wanted? I wanted to get the uh, ectoplasma trap. You can you can grab it, but it looks like there's been some kind of problem with the wire connecting it to the actual trapper. Like the 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 mm -hmm. cage, there's been like a, a short in the wire. You can see some wire sticking out okay. in the in the actual connecting area. And Stephanie, you had a quick question. Yeah, I was just wondering. I rolled a five. Does that get us a franchise no. thing? Right? No, because this okay. is this is just to make sure you have technology with okay. you. Okay, that's cool. So and so two. What's your result? As a two, the GM decides your fate, or you may suggest something suitably negative. I just don't have one on me. Yeah, yeah. And with that, while you are running from the from the burning hellfire in your in your uh, secret oh. bunker. We're going to pause for, for until next time. Thank you for listening to Bone Thrower's Theater. The cast is Carlin, Jeff, Jeremy, Johnny, Jordan, and Stephanie. This podcast is released under our Creative Commons, Attribution, Non-Commercial, No Derivatives 3.0 Unported License. Please feel free to share the podcast, but please do not modify it or attempt to gain financially from it. To find this show online, visit our site, bonethrowerstheater.com. Our Twitter feed is at bonethrowerstheater, and our email address is bonethrowerstheater at gmail.com. Join our social networks on Facebook and Google+. Podcast art was designed by Laura Tress and is used with her permission. Until next time, may the bones fall in your favor. This has been... A Nerd Circle podcast production.